Hi, this is Donald here, and this is my review of Streams of Silver by R.A. Salvatore. Streams of Silver is book two in the Icewind Dale trilogy. Just as a quick summary, after the adventures in the far north, our band of adventurers goes out on a quest to find the mythical mines uh, called the Mi Mithril Halls, which is the, myth the ancient home of Runor the dwarf. Not only do they have to find its hidden location, but they have to brave the dangerous wilds and the world of men and wizards. And unbeknownst to them, there is a secret group following them and hunting and tracking their every move. First, let me state that I enjoyed the first book of the series quite a bit. I thought it was a nice, fun read. Nothing timeless, but fun and a pleasant adventure. An epic adventure, let me say. The second book in the series, though, I really struggled to enjoy. The writing stayed pretty similar, I mean the same author, right? But the transition to a group of adventurers and their adventures through the countryside just seemed so insignificant compared to the last book and their epic battle to save the ten towns and legions of orcs and goblins. It just, the scale just seemed insignificant. And because their achievements paled the prior book, it also made the book less interesting to me. I didn't enjoy the characters and the world nearly as much, and it felt kind of rushed even though the book was several hundred pages long. It also didn't help that the map in the book was pretty lacking and honestly not helpful at all. It detracted from me being interested in the book and what the different locations meant. The antagonists in the book just felt off. They were very rigid archetypical and hollow. I didn't really find them to be really believable, interesting, or compelling. I feel that the book would have been better if they weren't even in there. I would have rather the author have focused on the main characters and the world, and really just made this more of a pleasant adventure to find the mithril halls instead of a cat and mouse game or a hunt or anything, any of this other secondary plot. Lastly, the finale, which takes place in a really cool setting was really short. I wish there was a lot more to the location. I wish they spent more time there. It was the most interesting location by far. I, I just wish we spent more time in there. Would I recommend this book? I wouldn't recommend this book. Unless you are a big Dungeons and Dragons fan. Or, or just like the world of the Forgotten Realms quite a bit. I didn't find the book compelling. And was happy when I finished it because I didn't have to read it anymore. You can still enjoy this book, but for me personally, it just paled in comparison to the first book in just about every way. I could have had a happy day with or without reading this book. It didn't really contribute much. And that concludes my review of the Icewind Dale trilogy, book 2, Streams of Silver. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, if you agree or disagree. Thanks.